Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so I'm going to be doing a new Python tutorial, which is going to be for the new Python 3.5. I think the the wait is uh, the the wait is finally over as far as um, finding a reason to jump from Python 2 series to Python 3 series. Um, there's really no reason to drag our feet anymore. Um, short of you work for a company that won't allow you to upgrade to Python, I think everybody in the Python community should try to do what they can to start embracing the new 3 series uh, Python. There are some you know, minor differences and there's also a few libraries that are still lagging support but with the open source community hopefully we can get those up. So now it, it did take me personally a long time to actually jump on the Python 3 series because I was using a, a lot of um, Django stuff and um, Django really only worked um, really well with Python 2.7 but um, Django is now starting su to support the Python 3 series and um, one of the main reasons to actually use Python 3.5 is um, the newest uh, async and await feature, which is something that the C# -sharp language has had for quite some time. But um, Python now will allow uh, concurrent operations, because typically a dynamically interpreted interpreted um, language like Python uh, it did not allow for any sort of asynchronous programming, um, which it now does. So it it, it uses those through uh, what they call coroutines. And um, in this tutorial series, we'll get into how we can use the async and await to try to um, conduct simultaneous processes um, and you know function calls at the same time um, to get more work done uh, with more CPU uh, power. It also has some additional support for packing and unpacking argument variables, and, um, and we can get into that later on too. But uh, the bottom line is there are going to be some minor differences with Python 3 versus Python 2. Um, just little things like how you print and um, like print hello world to the screen you'll see uh, is a little bit different than Python 2 and, and that does rub some people the wrong way but um, all in all it's time for the Python community to get together and start supporting 3.5 and, and moving this language further um, especially now that you know Python's more popular than it's ever been and I think um, I checked Hobie Index this month uh, they have Python now listed as the fifth most popular programming language. Um, so anyway, um, those are the main reasons for why we want to jump on Python 3.5. It's a it's a faster, more efficient language with more features, and the lack of supported libraries is becoming less and less of an argument as we move into the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, and we'll get started in the next video. Thank you. Bye.